All right, so in the last video, we created our app and set it up with our spec and Capybara. So in this video, we're going to create our first resource and we're going to start by creating, uh, writing a spec file. So under spec features, user creates post spec.rb and we're going to require Rails helper. Creating post and we have two scenarios. And this is creating posts successfully and unsuccessfully. So if we run this spec, you can see that we have two pending specs. So let's write the first one. So we're going to visit root path and click on a button which says write a story and we're gonna fill in an input field with the label title with my first post fill in body with some awesome content and we're going to click on a button that says publish publish and we'll expect page to have content my first post let's run that spec again oh, forgot to save it and it's failing. The error message says unable to find link or button write up story. So let's create that. And I want to have that button at, in the nav bar. So I'll add that to app views layouts application.html.erb and I'll create header tag And I'll use Rails link to helper, write a story. And I want this link to take me to um, this form page. So I'll follow the Rails convention. So new post path. And if we run the test again, it says undefined local variable or method new post path and it's because we haven't defined our routes so let's edit our config routes.rb and we'll add resources posts and we only need new for now And it says uninitialized constant post controller. So let's create that. And it's going to inherit from application controller. And I know that we're going to need new action so and then if we run the test again it says missing template so let's create our template and before we do that we're going to create a directory app 
views posts and new.html.erb and I'm just gonna add this h1 tag new post And then the capybara says unable to find field title. So we need to add a form on this page. So I'll use Rails form for view helper and I'll create post instance variable and And since we created this instance variable, we need to create that in our controller. So let's do that. And it says uninitialize constant post controller post. So yeah, our spec is complaining about this constant post. And it's because we haven't created our model. So we're going to use Rails generator to create our model. So Rails G model post. And our post is going to have a title, which is going to be the type string. So we don't have to specify the type. And we're going to have, it's going to have a body and it's going to be a, the type text. So hit enter. All right, let's look at the migration file. Create table posts, title, and body. That looks good. Let's run rake db migrate. All right, so if we run the test again, our spec, spec feature, now it's complaining about this field. So let's add that. It's uh, now it says undefined method posts path, and we get that error message because when Rails run this line, it tried to create a URL for this post uh, create action. So we need to define that in our routes. So we'll add create, and if we run the test again should get us past that error message. Yes, and it says unable to find field body. So let's add that in our template. Text area, body, Unable to find link or button publish, so let's add a submit button. It says the action create could not be found for post controller, so let's define that. Run the spec again, and it says missing template for post create, but we don't want to have 
uh, create template. We want to redirect this to our root path. So redirect to root URL. And it says expected to find text my first post in the root page, our home page. So, but since we haven't created any data in our database within this create action, we have nothing to show in our home page. So let's write this create action. So this is pretty much boilerplate code, but just write that new post params and we'll go, uh, save that and then and we have to fetch that data in our homes controller so let's open app controller homes controller and within this show action we're gonna get all the posts post.all and in the template we have to display our posts at views po homes show.html.erb and we're just gonna iterate over this posts array and post dot each and I'm just gonna print out the title of the post for now and if we run our spec um, it says Oh, I forgot to define the post param in our um, controller. Sorry about that. App controllers post controller, and I haven't, I didn't define this post params. So let's do that private and all right so hopefully this now is the test is uh, the spec is passing so that's good so let's write the other scenario so in this case Um, we're gonna fill in title with uh, my second post and this time we're not gonna put anything in the body so it's gonna be blank and we'll And we'll expect a uh, page to have CSS error. So we don't want this to redirect us to root path. We want to we want it to re-render a new template 
and then display some error messages. So we'll, we'll add expect current path it's lagging to equal new post path and let's run the spec and it's passing ah uh, it's failing and it's saying expected to find css dot error but there are no matches 